Hello and welcome to another Standard Games video. Today we're going to try to close out some games using Song of Totentons in combination with Warleader's Call to deal a ton of damage out of nowhere. Most people might be used to seeing Warleader's Call out of the Boros Convoke deck. We're going to try to subvert those expectations by actually closing out games with Song of Totentons after keeping the board clear using our various sweepers, which of course will help out in the Boros Convoke mirror match. So we've got Temporary Lockdown, great at dealing with any artifact tokens that that the opponent may produce as well. We've got two copies of Brotherhood's End, and then at four mana, two copies of the Elder Dragon War, which can start out by dealing two damage to each creature, and then we can also use to kind of sculpt our hand on the second chapter and eventually make a dragon token, although we can always read ahead and start from any different chapter. And then finally, there's a Burn Down the House, dealing five damage to each creature and each Planeswalker, can also make three 1-1 one -one Devil tokens, which have pretty good synergy with our War Leader's Call as well, since we'll be able to make a bunch of tokens, pump them up and deal damage when they enter. And then eventually we want to close out the game with Song of Tottentons, making X 1-1 one, one black red creature tokens. Those creatures cannot block, and creatures we control also gain haste until end of turn, so we get to immediately attack with the rats, maybe also with a dragon token that we generated with Elder Dragon War, and hopefully deal lethal in one big swing. And the beauty of this deck is that we're not really presenting many creatures until we're ready to go for the kill, so we can easily keep the board clear with our own sweepers, and if the opponent may be tries to prepare their deck for the Boros Convoke matchup and has plenty of sorcery speed removal, their deck may not line up all that favorably against a bunch of hasty rat tokens. And then taking a look at the rest of our deck, we've got some discard and draw effects, four copies of demand answers, and then a big score can also make some treasure tokens to set up a bigger Song of Tottentons. So those are also helpful in sculpting our hand, maybe getting rid of sweepers in matchups where we don't need them and find those missing combo pieces. And then we've got a bit of spot removal as well with Lightning Helix, gaining us some life back, can also maybe deal the finishing blow if the opponent gets low enough. And then Get Lost can also hit bigger creatures, enchantments and planeswalkers. And then at 3 mana, Celestus can maybe accelerate our mana to set up a bigger Song of Tottentons, and also can easily switch between day and night, especially good with cards like Big Score, as we can just pass a turn, let it switch to nighttime, and then Big Score during the opponent's turn. And then our mana base also has two copies of the Restless Bivouac as a creature land that can maybe chip in for a bit of damage. And then we've got some dual lands, including the new Elegant Parlor, letting us surveil. can also be pretty useful since we don't have anything going on on turn one, so we can just play it tapped. And then uh, later it can also kind of help find those missing pieces. And then a Crucible can also be channeled to make some 1-1s one and a Ganjo for more interaction. So yeah, that's our deck, typically looking to cast Song for at least X equals 5, although X equals 6 is kind of the sweet spot, making 6 2-2 two, two rats can attack for 12 damage, 6 more is 18 total basically, and then it just takes one Lightning Helix or maybe a Pain Land from the opponent to close out the game. So yeah, that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the play, we have a keepable control hand of sorts. Celestus can help find our song eventually, and with Celestus we can cast a turn 4 burn down the house, so it's hopefully fast enough against the more aggressive decks. And a Sundown Pass we can get rid of for now. Got plenty of mana. Another burn down. Opponent on a human's deck. Could see end of turn reinforcements. Okay, so could still be on a Boros deck here. Knight Errant Convoked. And finds a single Epicure. Alright, let's burn down for now. Make it harder to convoke a second Knight Errant. And then next turn, we could maybe main phase big score, discard get lost. Opponent's got their own war leader's call, which I could get lost, since the damage can certainly add up over time. Although giving them two map tokens is also not ideal. So I'll wait to respond to them casting a creature. Might affect their sequencing. Right, opponent's gonna hang back, so they probably have another reinforcement they can cast. So now we're kind of between a rock and a hard place if I want to get lost to War Leader's Call. Yeah, I mean, I guess I cast it now, opponent makes their tokens, we take two damage, and then they'll have some map tokens they can explore with, or 
use their very synergies. Never mind, just Mirex activating. It's not too bad. And Big Score can go. And I'll discard a lane to Big Score. Keep digging towards our song. Also could have considered just casting Burn Down the House with War Leader's Call, dealing some damage. But uh still believe we might need it as a sweeper. So for now we'll discard Celestis. Maybe hit our land drop for the turn. Alright, there's our song at least. And we also switched it back to daytime. So demand answers can go. Next turn I can cast song x equals 5, which is not quite lethal, especially if they produce some blockers. So we may need another turn to develop our mana to set up a bigger song. Crucible can also make some 1-1s. One Opponent keeps on exploring. So not sure what they have in hand at this point that they're not able to cast. Maybe they're just flooding out a bit. Okay, so let's say we were to cast Song. Can do it for X equals 6 right now. So Pun falls to 14 and then we attack for 12. And then maybe Helix can close out the game. If our opponent's got reinforcements they can make some uh, blocks but they're chump blocks. So yeah, I don't hate Song X equals 6. And then between Helix and Burn Down the House, we can hopefully close out the game. Opponent takes it all, so they're within range of Lightning Helix now. They did have the reinforcements, but they'll need something pretty special to present lethal here. Maybe if they have multiple recruiters plus more goblin tokens that they can give haste to. It's not impossible, I guess. So Inspector. Step one. A warden. Okay. And there's a recruiter. Still not 19 damage, although they got pretty close. And our opponent explodes, yeah, next turn we can attack for lethal, plus Lightning Helix would get there as well. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with both combo pieces in hand already, couple of lands and a sweeper. Problem is, this may be too slow against an aggro deck, so we might get run over before we can assemble our two cards. Right, opponent just uh, blue whites, passing the turn back and forth. So they might be on a more controlling deck. Field of Ruin likely to answer the bivouac. Right, I'll play a War Leader's Call. See if that resolves. It does not. Opponent looking at the anchorage. All right, that's surprising, so they don't have anything else going on. Maybe they have a bunch of board wipes. So we'll just go for a parlor. Could also get an attack in with a bivouac, but we do have two tap lands we need to work through. Yeah, maybe we'll get an attack in here while we can. Maybe entices the opponent to keep up Field of Ruin. And... Uh, our plan is to eventually burn them out with our rat tokens, so any point we can deal beforehand could help. We are looking for another War Leader's Call. Although I don't think I can turn down another song. Poon's gonna use Field of Ruin, which also shuffles. So that song's gonna get shuffled back. That's okay. Let's 
So counter spells are the main hurdle we'll have to fight through. As we draw song regardless. Alright. Uh, maybe interested in just casting Burn Down the House, making Devil Tokens. And then if they counter this, fine. If they plan to Sunfall next turn, at least they're not exiling my rats. And don't think we need a Get Lost. Opponent with Flanker can potentially exile a graveyard, but more likely to gain life and scry. 3-1 doesn't really line up all that great against a bunch of 1-1 one -one tokens, unless they maybe pump it with the map token or with a Wandering Emperor. Opponent explores Memory Deluge, keeps it on top. Take 4. And there's the War Leader's Call. Alright, I guess we'll give that a try first. Can maybe still cast Song of Tottentons afterwards. X equals 3. Still pretty threatening here. And maybe they'll counter this one. Could also see Get Lost on our War Leader's Call in response. Then we would still deal 6 down to 10. March for 3 instead. So we still deal 6. Opponent's likely to Sunfall next turn. Then we can cast another song, X equals uh, 7 here. Put them to 3, so they're within range of a Lightning Helix. Farewell instead, doesn't matter. And there's a Lightning Helix, alright. So X equals 7. Yeah, Sunfall would have been a bit uh, scarier since then it would have given them a large threat to close out the game with. Now they don't have any meaningful pressure. They need to answer the board and answer our Lightning Helix if they can gain any life. Deluge goes digging, so I doubt they can answer both threats here. Lockdown deals with the rats, but Helix or another song is lethal. So yeah, that early attack from the bivouac potentially mattering as well. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a pretty slow hand. No early interaction, although maybe the surveils can help. So I'll give it a shot. Let's see what we're up against. A red-white. So another big score can go for now. I have plenty of discard and draw already. And a bunny corn. All right, so we know what we're up against. The lockdown will be effective. Can uh, still demand answers if we'd like. So turn two, demand answers. Turn three, lockdown. And then I still have a tap land I need to play, which can maybe play Celestus. So then maybe big score goes. All right. There's a War Leader's Call, sadly can't uh, lock that down. But we do have a Get Lost to maybe draw as an answer. So I think we ditch Big Score for now. And then could play my own War Leader's Call. Celestus also has some advantages here, since we can maybe Elder Dragon War. Although now with a call, two damage is unlikely to be all that effective. I want to wait for them to present more creatures before we lock down, even though the bunny corn's gonna hurt. I guess we could also just helix it now. And then uh, play our parlor. And then don't need another Elder Dragon War. Evangelist. Also a bit of a sticky threat, which doesn't get exiled by the lockdown. But Elder Dragon War now can wipe the board. And then next turn we can discard and draw a bunch. 
we have both call and song in hand. So it's just about developing our mana and making sure we don't die in the meantime. Inspector is next. That we can lock down. Okay, so this turn we could play Celestus and Lockdown, so maybe another Lockdown can go, or I can just keep everything and have a second Lockdown as kind of a replacement. Yeah, let's just keep everything. Since I'm probably going to have to wipe the board a second time before we actually manage to combo off, and we can play Lockdown alongside Warleader's Call to set up our song. I might end up exiling my own dragon in the process, but so be it. They do have an end of turn reinforcements, putting us to 12. And with an attack we're at 8, so we're getting pretty low. Another reinforcements, main phase, pointing towards a Convoked Knight Errant, perhaps. So that's going to put us to a 9. And they found a recruiter, that's scary, so yeah, next turn, if they hold back, they can likely end the game with uh, creature plus recruiter. So even though I can uh, cast lockdown here to deal with all the 2-2s, two next turn we're still dead to the knight errant attack, I'm afraid. Is there anything else I can do? Song x equals at most 5 is nowhere close to lethal, even though... It does give my dragon haste as well, so that can attack. If I call first, that doesn't really make a huge difference. So yeah, maybe had they uh, played the Epicure, we would have been able to survive. Demand answers is not going to do it. So we can lock down again. Play room war leader's call. And sadly, a turn away from casting our Song of Tottentons. But that should do it here. Alright, so couldn't quite beat the original Boros Convoke. But we're still pretty close. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a keepable hand. Got a good mix of interaction, board wipe, War Leader's Call setting up our Song facing Monoret Aggro, not our favorite matchup, although we've got some good interaction with a Lightning Helix, a couple sweepers if we find double red, and a Reckless Impulse, so at least no additional threats. Celestus can fix for double red as well. And a Mechanized Warfare. I think we get lost the warfare since it's going to be kind of a long-term problem and keep helix for a bigger creature. And then for now just play Celestus, keep developing our mana. Opponent can at least make use of the map tokens. Sees a tectonic hazard on top. So yeah, they're trying to combine these deal one to each creature plus mechanized warfare to build your own sweeper, which is going to be pretty good against a Boros Convoke deck. So Monorad's trying to adapt to a deck that can easily be faster. Turns out we've got a more controlling build of the uh, Boros deck. Now the Phoenix Chick's a 4-4, so it does actually survive all my burn spells. Got Brotherhood's End instead of Lockdown. So yeah, this 4-4 Phoenix Chick is not messing around. Could make a 4-4 Dragon with Elder Dragon War. Could play War Leader's Call first to make it a 5-5, but then we're taking at least another 4 damage. So maybe I have to just uh, make the Dragon token. And hope that can trade for the Phoenix Chick. I suppose we could have double spelled Brotherhood's and then Helix as well. Maybe it would have been safer. Since now if they have another Monstrous Rage, it's not like they can add a second monster roll to their creature. So they're unlikely to increase its toughness even more. Our opponent does attack. I 
another monstrous rage. So we're at nine. Play with fire down to seven. And end of festivities down to six. Okay, so I could pass a turn, let it switch to knights, so we trigger Celestus, discard another Celestus, and then we can still big score and lightning helix. I like that idea. And then we're digging for Song of Tottentons to eventually close out the game. Felden, not the best creature to damage, as our opponent will get to uh, find a replacement card. So let's start with big score, this card. I want to say Brotherhood's End. See what else we draw. Lockdown's a better answer. So I'll just take two here. Festivity is down to four. Now, of course, Lockdown also exiles my own treasures. So I could use one now on demand answers. Discard a land. Or maybe even sacrifice a treasure token to the demand answers. Yeah, that could work. So, sack an artifact. And get lost can also answer Felden. Celestus triggers. Alright, what do we want to get rid of? So, we're definitely going to lock down and then. Safest would be to keep up a Lightning Helix. Yeah, I can maybe ditch a land for now. Find Burn Down the House. Could also play the War Leader's Call with a plan of making Devils next turn to start beating down. I think I still hang on to the uh, Lightning Helix. And then I'll just point it upstairs to pad our life total a little bit. There's Song of Tottentons. Alright, so now ditch Elder Dragon War. Play War Leader's Call, keep up. Get Lost, and then next turn Song should get there. Can cast one for X equals 5. It's gonna be close enough at least. Suppose I could have cast one X equals 2 now. And then next turn, x equals 5 is definitely enough. Festivity is down to 8. These one damage sweepers would have been effective if it weren't for War Leader's Call at clearing all the rats. Alright, so now with the land, I guess our opponent could jump with Mishra's Foundry, but that's acceptable. So x equals 6. So this would have been lethal if it weren't for Mishra's Foundry. But with one card in hand, I also don't see us dying next turn. Yeah, so had I gone for a song last turn, we would have gotten there, but our opponent just takes it. Alright, sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and we've got Song of Tottentons and War Leader's Call. Bit of interaction. May need a sweeper as well to uh, stay alive long enough. There it is. So now we just need to hit our land drops using our discard and draw effects, perhaps. Opponent also red-white. Can uh, demand answers. Opponent's got their own War Leader's Call. Could also use Get Lost to remove it here, and then uh, take it from there, basically. Sure. Alright, play Parlor, and then we can potentially demand answers. Lockdown's also pretty good in this matchup. So maybe I don't need the Elder Dragon War, and we can discard it with demand answers. Our opponent can make use of these map tokens if they're on the traditional Boros Convoke. Another call. Okay. So then I'm probably gonna big score next turn. Could also play my own War Leader's Call, although it's not the most mana efficient. So I'll pass. 
maybe one lockdown can go and keep the second song as an extra finisher. Skrelv's Hive, okay. So it is also kind of a slower approach to the Boros deck, so it's a pseudo mirror. One lockdown can go. No land drop is annoying. So we could use our treasures to cast a lockdown and then still play War Leader's Call. Could also try to big score again, discarding a Lightning Helix. Hope to hit our land drop. And then I'll be able to maybe cast a lockdown afterwards. Close call. I do want to hit my land drop, so we'll try that. All right. So if I want to lock down now, I will end up uh, wasting a treasure. What if I just War Leader's Call and try and go for lethal next turn? Could also work. And then we want to keep a land on top. All right, so next turn we can song for x equals six, resulting in six damage plus maybe 12 more from the attacks. So then the Skrelv's Hive might take them out. Opponent does now have a blocker with Adelin. So that makes things a little trickier. Although I think I'm still a fan here since we have another song to follow it up. So that should be able to end the game. Not in any immediate danger of dying next turn, I don't think. Unless they return the favor with their own Song of Tottentons. Which is entirely possible. Their so opponent falls to 3, Hive down to 2. And then I could even win in my upkeep with a Lightning Helix. Yeah, they play Anim, deals one damage, and then even more from the tokens. So Pun's actually pretty close to killing us. Goes for a Mechanized Warfare. So we're at three. That doesn't do it. And uh, yeah, they're just dead on board. Awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. We've got a Keeper, I think. Start with a Bivouac, hold Parlor to get a bit more info on the opponent. Also, if we draw land, we may not want to put it in the graveyard. Opponent on green-white enchantments. Yeah, this can be a tough matchup, especially if our only interaction is burn down the house here. So maybe I do want to cast Demand Answers for now and look for some cheaper interaction. At least the good news is that uh, Temporary Lockdown doesn't care how large their creatures are, so that can be a clean answer. So one burn down the house can go. And I get lost to draw. Alright, do I War Leader's Call? Do I get lost here? I think I uh, am better off using Get Lost. And then, yeah, need a fifth line before we can burn down the house, so I have to get rid of it. I'll wait on casting it, maybe that influences the opponent's decision on which enchantment to cast with a weaver. Another visitor, sure. And another weaver. Alright, they're growing the weaver of harmony, so that's gonna work out well for us. Found Lockdown, so that will clean things up nicely. Do we have to cast it now, or do we wait? If our opponent plays Calyx next turn, it's not like Lockdown will deal with it. So I think it's safer to just clean up now. There are some cards our opponent could have to deal with a Lockdown, but they're not commonly played outside of maybe a Boseju. Double Companion would have been pretty good with Weaver of Harmony out. So now we want a big score, discarding one Warleader's Call. 
to keep hitting our land drops, hopefully. Alright, another lockdown is not terrible. Reign of Truth, Pamso Companion. And another one. Alright, so next turn we can play Call and then use our treasures for lockdown, since otherwise we would exile them. And Parlor is not bad either. Keep a land on top. So next turn we can cast Song X equals 5, and then turn after maybe cast another one. So as long as they don't present a 7-powered creature in the meantime, we might be alright. Alright, now we're probably just gonna burn out the house first. Does mean they get to Kami back, but otherwise there's a good chance they kill me with Kami next turn. So the Kami returns. And another one. Alright, so they'll need at least two enchantments to kill me next turn, or an audacity would do it too. I could technically hold back the bivouac, but I don't think that's the way to go. Just cast one x equals six, and then hope to survive next turn and cast another one for the win. Opponent can afford to take it all. Alright, let's find out if we're dead. Yep, yeah, looks like an audacity will do it. Too bad. And then I'm sure they had ossification in hand for a while. So, yeah, they probably top decked the audacity for the win here. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and uh, I've got a few tap lands to deal with. Is it good enough? Can always discard Celestus to demand answers. I'll try it. Hoping to draw an untap land on turn two here, so we can at least curve out a little bit better. Turn one mountain, found the plains. Okay, so we can demand into maybe a lockdown. Put on the red-white. And a reinforcement, so this Convoke once again. Well, we've got uh, some good answers in hand. And we've got some demand answers as well. Epicure is next. And a Knight Errant, that's too bad. That one's gonna slip through the cracks. I guess I shouldn't give them any unnecessary information before they decide on the Knight Errant. Warden plus Frontliner. Okay. Lightning Helix. Do we lock down now or do we wait another turn is the question. I could just go for Celestus and then next turn burn down the house to deal with the Knight Errant. That might be a cleaner solution, plus it lets them maybe overextend into another board wipe. Of course, the recruiter is going to hit pretty hard. Don't think it's quite 19 damage at least. But it's awful close. Okay. So we wipe the board. Opponents does get to unearth frontliner, so that can put us to one. So it doesn't take much here. Do have a lightning helix to gain three, but we may not get a chance to use it. Alright, Blood Token goes digging. And a Frontliner unearths. Opponent's down to one card in hand. And another Helix is good insurance. So I can cast Warleader's Call, keep up Lightning Helix. That's probably safe enough. Could also use Lockdown, but on a single creature it feels a little weak. I 
And there's a war leader's call, all right, so that's pretty threatening now. There's no follow-up, and we found an answer to the call, so that's good. Could also get busy with a bivouac, and then still get lost. I guess that's not unreasonable. Could also use Lockdown to clean up the map tokens we generate, which our opponent could maybe otherwise use. But uh, yeah, let's get in with a bivouac. And then I can get lost at instant speed. So we can trigger Celestus. Burn down the house isn't bad either. So maybe it's time to let go of the lockdown. And then if our opponent doesn't present a creature, maybe Helix Face. To next turn make Devil Tokens. So we would put our opponent to 11. Next turn burn down the house. Down to 8, attack for 6, so they would go down to 2. And I guess they could die to another Lightning Helix if we top deck it. Yeah, I don't hate that. Opponent's probably just gonna make a token with Mirax. Demand answers. And attack. And do we get lost to War Leader's Call in response to Mirax? So we would go down to 7. Pwn can hit us for 2. Needs something pretty special to present lethal next turn. Giving them map tokens. Maybe not super relevant when the Might is also an artifact. If they need it for the goblin tokens, for instance. Yeah, I guess I'll get lost now. And then next turn with Bivouac, we can hopefully get there and our opponent concede. Awesome. So yeah, we faced Boros a few times and it's not by any means a free win, but uh, it's definitely a winnable matchup. We've got the sweepers to survive long enough to set up our combo, but uh, don't even always need to get there since uh, our opponent might check out after the third or fourth sweeper. And then of course creature lands, devil tokens can also get there if we don't necessarily draw a Song of Tottentons. So overall not the most competitive deck since it's pretty one-dimensional but uh, can certainly hold its own and if your opponent doesn't know what's incoming can set up for some fun surprise wins out of nowhere. So that'll do it for today's gameplay. I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed and as always have a nice day.